Hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is Kelly from Deep Soul Tarot. Um, well, I was sitting here thinking, I was actually thinking the last couple days, and I have this energy, this urge to, uh, that Spirit had a message for us, and um, although I couldn't concentrate the last couple days, I just, my mind was not clear enough. So I decided to wait and I was sitting here and I just felt like Spirit said, I have a message, so here I am. So, welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you for joining. So what I want to do is I did, um, if you haven't seen it already, check it out. I did do a collective reading for the week. But for today, I'm going to do for the weekend. So the 14th, 15th, 16th, Friday, Saturday, Sunday energies. See what is going to come up for that. Now, the weekly reading was about... Uh, for those that resonated for and those who watched it, it was you can manifest what you want. Okay, so let's just see what messages spirit has for all of us in the collective for the weekend. And it is a general read, so it may not resonate for all of you, but just take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Okay, here we go. Let's see what spirit, what message spirit has for us for the weekend. So for the 14th, the 15th, and the 17th, what messages do you have, Spirit, for the collective? For the 14th, the 15th, and the 16th. <clears throat> I hope everyone is doing well. I've had kind of a rough week. I had a rough day today. So, uh, but I'm doing all right. I'm doing all right. Here's one. Alrighty then. Now Spirit doesn't want to say anything at the moment. Oh, there we go. Another one. One more, Spirit. We'll start off with, with one more or whatever. Alright. Bottom of the deck. Nice card. Ten of Pentacles. Well, we have the Ten of Pentacles and the other reading also. Uh, for the week. So, um, for some of us, there's going to be some sort of um, stability. Uh, with the pentacles, it could mean a job or some sort of financial gain, but it doesn't have to be. But whatever it is, is going to make us feel much more secure and happy in general. Okay, so we have the king of swords, the chariot, the wheel of fortune. So, what I'm hearing right off the bat, that, steer, that spirit, spirit, having a hard time talking today, spirit is saying, whatever it is that we are thinking of doing, just go forward and do it. Go forward. Um, the wheels are turning. So whatever this is that you may be thinking of, um, if this resonates for you, that there's a lesson to be had in this particular uh, rotation of events. So whatever is occurring in your life, there's some sort of lesson in there, and things are going to be with these two cards right here. With the Chariot and the Wheel of Fortune, things are definitely moving forward, all right? Definitely moving forward. And you know, um, the, with the King of Swords, I'm thinking that well, now this, could, this could represent a, a male in your life, too. Um, so you may be getting communication from a male person or masculine energy. It doesn't have to be a male, just someone with more masculine energy. But this person has, oh, wait a minute. Okay, this just hit me right now. With the King of Swords, I just heard, speak your mind. Whatever it is, speak your mind and move on, move forward, whatever it may be. Not sure what that means, per se. We can clarify it later. Um, let's see if there are any other messages Spirit might have for us in regards to that. Because it's like you've gotten some sort of truth. You have clear mind of something in particular. And it's time to move forward. And with the Wheel of Fortune, this is a faded event. It was meant to happen this way. And the wheel is turning. Things are moving forward. Just like, you know, the wheel is kind of representation of the seasons. And uh, the season, everything changes. You know, each season things change. Uh, and they come and go. You know, we don't, we always have, we all experience different winter. I'm in California, so totally different winter here. 
but we all experience winter, spring, summer, fall in some way or another. It's all different for everybody, depending on where you live and where you're at, but just like in life. All right. All right. Let's, let's, this one wanted to come out and this one wants to come out. All right. Let's see. One more. Oh, I think there's two more. I'm not sure. Oh, wow. There's Queen of Swords. Interesting. Interesting. And the Ace of Cups. So what I'm hearing specifically with that is definitely the Queen of Swords is going to speak her mind. And we'll get to these in a minute. And whatever it is that is happening for some of you, for the collective, that there's something that needs to be spoken and spoken. You need to speak your truth. Basically, what I'm hearing is you need to speak your truth. The king is usually a little bit more diplomatic. The queen of swords, he may speak his mind and say, listen, this is my kingdom. This is what needs to be done, and I won't have it in other, any other way. But the queen of swords is no nonsense. She's going to cut it out. She's going to say, listen, I'm not having this. I don't want it anymore. I'm not putting up with your BS or any type of BS. This is how it's going to be. She cuts it out. Moving on. Ace of Cups. Oh, there's the Queen of Cups. Wow. Use that uh, Use that passion to do it. The Ace of Cups to me is a new beginning, but it's more of a um, filling your own cup, taking care of your own um, stuff so that you can be emotionally fulfilled in your heart. Um, well, yeah, okay. There's the Emperor. More masculine energy. The Magician, which came out in the uh, other reading for the week. So there's the manifestation again. Yeah, there's that emperor who's also in control. He just, he's the ruler of his kingdom. Ruler of your kingdom. Doesn't matter if you're male or female. It does not matter. The death card. Whatever this is that the collective is dealing with, it's the end of something. It's the end. And uh, with an end, of course, always comes a beginning. Justice card. That's the truth. It's all going to balance out. And the Queen of Pentacles. There's the Queen. Wow, you had, what is it? The Queen of Cups, the Queen of Pentacles, and the Queen of Swords. There's a lot of feminine energy here. Feminine energy does not matter what your gender is. We all have masculine and feminine energy. However, the feminine energy usually can be a little more emotional, um, whereas the masculine, of course, is more logical in in sense where they think before they, you know, they, they make decisions based on what they think or their analytical part rather than what they feel. Not that they don't feel. The Queen of Swords, a little colder. Not as much feeling. But the Queen of Cups is under there too. And the Queen of Pentacles is the type of energy where she knows, it. So you see how she's looking at that pentacle? She knows the value of herself. She knows that she's worth it. She doesn't need to put up with crap. She doesn't need to pull up with BS. And she is going to take take the steps, little by little. And the Queen of Swords is going to cut it out. The Queen of Cups is finding what makes... She's compassionate, yes. But she's she is more emotional where she can find what makes her heart happy. And in the process, maybe make other people happy too. Now, I am going to clarify a little bit here, okay? Let's see. I'm just going to do the top row. The King of Swords, the Chariot, and the Wheel of Fortune. Let's see if anything pops out. Okay. So, well, there it goes. And it came in reverse. Two of Cups in reverse. I don't know if you can see that. These cards are a bit dark. This is the Dark Mansion Tarot, so the cards are very dark. And this room is not lit all that well. There you go. A little bit better, maybe. Two of Cups in reverse. So, what I'm seeing with that, is because there's so much, well, you have, you know, it's interesting because I was going to say you have a lot of feminine energy, but you do have the emperor and the king of swords. So I can't really say there's more feminine energy than masculine. However, whether it be love, work, there's some sort of partnership that is, is either evolving or ending. You're either moving on from it and moving forward, or there's a shift in that where... Maybe you're taking, a, you're going with your heart though. This is what I really want. In my heart, in my soul, this is what I want. But at the same time, the masculine you is saying, but I'm not going to get over emotional. I'm just going to cut stuff out or whomever out, out of my life that is no longer serving me. And I'm going to move on. I've got control of the situation. Again, you get to manifest what you want. 
There's the ending with the death card. And now you've got the justice and the queen of pentacles. The truth has come out. Everything is going to balance out the way it's supposed to. Okay. And the queen of pentacles is saying, this is exactly how I wanted it to go. Okay. Let's see. What's at the bottom of the deck? Four of swords. You may t need to take a little time to think about, meditate on what it is you really want. Let's see. Let's do, let's do the, I'm going to do the emperor. High priestess, high priestess popped out. Um, with it, with this, uh, okay. So with that four of swords card that came out, the meditation and taking time out for yourself, that is going to be a time for you to go with your gut. What is your intuition telling you about this situation, about what you may need to do? Because you have absolute control and you can make the decisions, all right? And what needs to be done? Let's do the magician. What are we manifesting? And the magician comes out is saying, the spirit is saying, or the universe is saying, you have what it takes. You have the tools to do this. So by making certain moves, learning a lesson, and moving forward, you have the tools to manifest what you want. The devil. Okay, so you have the tools. Ooh, can you see it? The devil. Yeah, there's a little bit of a glare. The devil card. You have the tools to... Well, you have the tools to choose. You have the um, a right to choose what it is you want. The devil may be in your head saying, no, you don't really want to do that. There may be negative thoughts. But the magician is saying, no, 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 no. I know what I want, and I know if I think positive thoughts, I can help make this happen, right? So the death card could very well be the end of those negative thoughts and you moving forward. The nine of pentacles is you are... You're independent right now. You are doing this. You are doing this for yourself. You may not even realize it. You are doing it for yourself. This was for the death card. The king of swords in reverse. Hmm, that's interesting. You have the king of swords here. King of swords in reverse. See, now you, with the queen of swords, you may have cut out and moved, I mean, moving forward. Dang, if I could talk. Moving, I'm getting all excited for everybody. <laughs> um, moving forward. And I will see, it's the end of you being, I just heard the word tongue-tied. I'm not sure. That's me. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> I'm, I'm projecting my tongue-tiedism on the, the collective. But it's maybe before you weren't able to speak your truth. Maybe you didn't want to hurt someone's feelings. Maybe you were afraid that people would get upset or things would go wrong. But the death card is saying that that's no longer the case. That's no longer the case. You are able to speak your mind. You have been able to face the truth. And you are, again, manifesting what you want. I'm not going to use that again as, um, you know, no, okay, that's the Nine of Wands. I was going to say, I already saw that, the Nine of, oh, no, I did see the Nine of Wands. And the Nine of Wands was in reverse. So the Nine of Wands can be a sense of almost giving up. But in reverse, it's saying that, you have switched it. That's no longer what you're thinking. You've gotten rid of that devil card thinking that I'm just going to give up. I'm just going to give in. Everyone else, because it's just too much. Nope, nope, nope. This is your chance. Your chance to make your move. Okay. I'm going to do the Justice and the Queen of Pentacles together here. And let's see what comes after that. Holy crap. It went down on the floor. And I'm going to have to move the table here. Sorry. <laughs> Earthquake. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay, back to me. Okay, here we go. What do we have here? The Knight of Pentacles. When I picked it up, it was in reverse. I'm not sure if that's how it landed. That's what it looked like. But the Knight of Pentacles in reverse for these two. The bottom of the deck is the Hanged Man. And can you see him? <laughs> there he is. The Hanged Man. So, and underneath that is the Eight of Pentacles, which means there may still have, there may still be some work to be done. However, the Hanged Man 
you, and I'll get back to the Knight of Swords in a minute here in reverse. The Hanged Man is saying that uh, you either need to see things in a new perspective or you are seeing things in a new perspective. And I, I have a feeling that you may have not have moved forward yet, but I have a feeling that you have been thinking about this, thinking, I really need to get away from this or change things, change things up. The Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Now, the Knight of Pentacles is basically slow, slow and steady wins the race. In reverse, I'm thinking maybe you've been taking your time, maybe trying to figure out if you want to make this decision. But I think now it's telling you that now is the time to make that move. I have stuff on me. To make that move. So, um, for the weekend then, what I'm hearing is that whatever, ha whatever happens this weekend is going to be a shift of some sort. There's going to be some sort of shift and it's time to make a move in whatever it is. Things are changing. The Wheel of Fortune does not stand still. So you can stand still, but time's going to move forward. Everything's going to move forward. And you want, don't want to be left behind because you may be stuck in a position where going, why didn't I take that chance when I had the chance and now I don't have the chance and I'm stuck. You don't want to be stuck. Okay? Sometimes things are scary moving forward, but um, trust your intuition. With the High Priestess, touch your, trust your intuition. Something is about to end. Okay? But whatever it is, was faded. It was meant to happen this way. So it's time to move forward and accept that shift. See things in a new perspective. Okay? So that is what I have for you for the weekend. I hope that this helped in some way. Again, it's a general read, so it's not going to resonate probably for everybody. It would be nice if it did, but it's a general read. Um, if you do like this reading, um, consider subscribing. Become part of the tribe. You know, I would love to have here. We all would love to have here. Um, and uh, I will, I'm trying to, to to do love readings and get back into the swing of things like I used to. I've been gone for a little while. And so I'm trying to get back into my regular readings. I would love to have you here if you would like to. It helps get the message out for other people. And it helps my channel, which I appreciate. Um, so I would appreciate that. Um, but I would love to have you here. More importantly, I'd love to have you here as part of the tribe. And for those who have returned, thank you for coming back. Um, I hope that this was helpful for the, you also. Um, and I hope you will join me again. So thank you very much and have a great weekend. And I hope you got a message in here that will help you with whatever may happen on the weekend. All right. Thank you so much. Take it easy. And I will hopefully see you soon. Bye-bye.